Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how we can make a pull request directory from VS Code using a extension named GitHub pull request and issues. So first we are going to check if there is any changes in the main repository that is this one window and I have already forked it and we can see this branch is one commit ahead we can also check them by writing this command get pull upstream main if you don't know what is this command doing this command is just pulling from a remote named upstream and from branch main so as you can see there have been one change and we are pushing it now and we can see if we refresh it and as we can see it is even with our twindle repository that we have just pulled from and pushed the changes if you don't know how this is working or you didn't set up this command let me show you that again like you can run this to check if you have added those things or not if you run this command you will get these like origin that is my repository i have checked this repo to comment on it so it's also added here and as we can see the twindle main repository link if you open that link it will take us to the main repository of twindle as we can see we are in the main repository of the twindle so that i have named as upstream so what how we can add that first let me remove those we'll remove upstream and i will also remove techie geek remote control so we have i think i have made a spelling mistake so we have to correct that first now it's correct so that's also removed we can run the previous command again to check if they are removed or not you can see now there's only one remote attached to this folder which is origin and which is my tip if you want to add remote to the main repository of twindle you can run this command that is get remote add and then you have to write the name which you want to give it like up stream and then we have to paste the link of twindle go clone so if we copy that link and paste it here and run this it will add a remote in our vs code now if we write the previous command again to check if it's added or not so as you can see the upstream remote is added which is attached to our twindle main repository so now what we can do is we can again run this command get pull now we have to write this name remote name which we are pulling from and then we have to write the branch name we are pulling from the main branch as you can see main branch is the only branch that is present in twindle right now so we are pulling from that only as we run this command you can see we are already up to date it so we don't have to push any changes and if there is no message like already up to date it you can run git push and you can write your remote name which is attached to your forked repository which in most of the cases is origin and the branch you can check from here like here i have main branch only you can push the changes which you have pulled from the main repository to your forked repository by running these command so now let me show you the extension which you have to install to make a pull request directly from vs code 
using graphic user interface so the extension name is github pull request and issues so this is the extension and it is officially launched by github so now this is the extension as you can see and the name should be github and if it doesn't show up here the icon this icon you can just right click here and the github to add that like i have removed it and now if i click on github it will add the icon here as you can see we have no changes it's checked up right now so let me first change some thing uh, i will going to change my pranav.md so there will be no conflict with any other file or any of the file in the main repository so i can remove this line and save it so now you will see here like i have modified pranav.md file and we can exchange this change and what we can do now is update it pranav.md and commit that as you can see it's pushing the committing the changes and to push those changes we have to wait until this loading gets done and the commit is committed so now you can see the commit message is gone that means the commit message is added now if you push those changes and if we see here it should mention now i click on compare i can see i have removed this line and i can also check if i click on pull request you can create a pull request from here but we are going to create a pull request from inside the vs code so what we can do we can just click create pull request here and choose our remote where we want to send the pull request and we can write the name of our branch so it's creating pull request right now we can choose what message we would like to show up in our pull request like i can choose latest commit matches which is pranav.md updated pranav.md i can click on this and it will create my pull request like you can see pull request 305 is created if i click on this and it's loading and click on this here and then description it will open up my pull request to see the changes we can get a description what is going on with our pr right now or you can also check that from here like i am going to refresh and you can see i have opened a pr a minute ago which mentioned title as updated pranav.md which was our commit title which was our commit message so sometime it takes a long time in loading this up but you can always see your pull request from browser too and we can also add comment from here like you i can write i am making a video on how to make a pr directly from vs code using graphical user interface and save that as you can see that comment has been added here and if we go and refresh this page it should be added here like you can see i make a video on how to create a pr like you can see there's some typo but that's okay from vs code using graphic user interface and we can also check what changes we have made so far like what have we committed like i have changed this deleted this line you can see it's showing up in red color that means it's deleted and the line numbers are also changed so and we can also check 
all PRs which have been raised up are opened till now and not have been closed and we can also check created by me and it should be visible the PR that we have just made if you click on created by me the PR which will show up here are those which are not yet closed and are not yet merged and we can also click here waiting for my review like if I have assigned something or if I have requested some changes we can also review them from inside the github extension like if I click on this thing right here you can see I have requested some changes which have not been yet done and I have not yet approved that's why it's showing waiting for my review and we can also see that this branch has no conflict with base branch we can also see what he has changed by clicking on check out it can take from 5 to 20 seconds depending upon the internet connection it's running you can see switching to review mode and now after 5 or 10 seconds we should be able to see the change now you can see it's added to my local pull request branch and if i click on this you can now click on this too to check what he have changed like you can see he have added these lines which were not present previously and we can also add a comment from here itself by clicking this or approve and request changes too and to remove this PR from our local branch we can do exit review mode and it will get exited from review mode then we will have the option to delete it from our local pull request branches it's loading up right now that's why it didn't show up like you can see delete local branch and if you do that it will go away from here and in local branch your latest PR will show up and created by me here your all the PRs which are yet not merged will show up so this is how you can make a PR using GUI and an extension called GitHub pull request and issues directly from VS code and check your PR or request some changes or add and review or approve you can do all those things from VS code now so that's all for this video and you can comment down your doubts and I will get back to you as soon as I get that time and I will try to solve your doubts and solve your issues which you are facing with this or anything side I hope this video helped you in some way or another thank you for watching